Update 2 on Tropical Storm Sinlaku, which currently has winds of 40 miles per hour and a pressure of 996 millibars. It's a new tropical storm in the Western Pacific, the 20th of the season. Uh, its position is 10.9 degrees north, uh, 117.3 degrees east, as of 2 a.m. UTC, November the 28th. Uh, the storm is expected to intensify over the South China Sea. It's now clearing the Philippines and then will make landfall in Vietnam, possibly as a strong tropical storm in the central region uh, of the country before moving inland um, and uh, dissipating eventually in around three days time. So the main area of concern now shifts to the eastern coast of Vietnam though we may still be seeing heavy rain over the uh, westernmost Philippines at the moment over Palawan um, but Vietnam is now in the crosshairs for the next landfall which it could do so with winds of 50 miles per hour or higher. Signal 1 warnings remain in effect for Palawan um, and we put out a tropical storm watch for the areas of Vietnam from Nha Trang northwards to Quang Nagai. Um, not sure about the pronunciations on that by the way, but uh, never mind, I'm not Vietnamese. Um, but the storm is expected to make landfall in between that area and it'll probably become a tropical storm warning as the storm reaches 24 hours uh, away from the coastline. Uh, so sea surface temperatures remain very warm, uh, cooling off slightly as the storm moves towards Vietnam. And by the time it does make that landfall, it will probably be around 26 or 27 degrees Celsius, uh, maybe a little bit higher than that. But at the moment, it's around 28 degrees plus, so certainly warm enough for sustained development. As far as wind shear is concerned, it is generally retreating towards the north. Not going to be too much of an issue, I shouldn't imagine. Um, the, mo the biggest issue will probably be in the immediate future rather than up until landfall. Uh, and dry air there's a little bit off to the north over southern china and northern vietnam but as far as the storm's path is concerned probably not going to be too much of an issue for sinlaku over the next few days so the computer models the cmc takes the storm on a straight path into vietnam with two other systems forming behind that one looks to be a significant typhoon near micronesia um, and watching closely a new storm forming just off the eastern coast of the central philippines um, the gfs model has something rather similar at least in terms of the first system and a significant storm behind that a typhoon by the looks of things going very close to the island of Yap and then possibly moving towards the eastern northeastern part of the Philippines but it will probably curve north before then I should imagine at the latest satellite imagery uh, shows how the storm's been developing over the past six hours or so as it's been moving away from the island of Palawan, the uh, straight-looking island there. Uh, the main islands of the Philippines are off towards the east, mainly in the clear now. It's just the northern parts of Palawan under heavy rainfall at this time. Strong winds are probably not going to be too, too significant for that area. It's more of a concern for Vietnam now, which could see strong winds of 60 miles per hour or higher potentially. As it stands, the storm has winds of 40 miles miles per hour um, so nothing indicating an eye or anything forming just yet but that could possibly become development later on the storm's life if it goes um, better than planned at least in terms of Sinlaku anyway. As of November the 28th at 2 p.m. UTC we still have two systems active. Invest 97S in the southern Indian Ocean has a high chance of development at this time and Tropical Storm Sinlaku which is headed towards Vietnam. Nothing else on the horizon just yet. Uh, two systems but in the Eastern Hemisphere. 75 tropical storms have now formed in 2014 worldwide, just three off uh, the four above that. Those are the lowest amounts in the past 26 years, 78 uh, storms. 43 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes and 25 have become Category 3 storms or their equivalents around the world uh, with wind speeds of 115 miles per hour sustained or higher. Uh, you can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website, force13.com, is the main place to stay up to date for all the goings on around the world storm-wise. Of course, the video pages with regular updates whenever they're required. YouTube and Daily Motion to search Force 13 on there, as is the case on the social pages, Facebook and Twitter. It's Force 13 on there as well, at Force 13 on Twitter. If you'd like to speak to me personally on Skype, you can do that. You can add Fool 13 on there for Tropical Weather Chat. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to reply in that format or by email if you so wish. Uh, the next update on this storm will follow in 24 hours time either at 9pm UTC on the 28th of November or at 3am the next morning. That's all for now.